Hello there, welcome back to the channel. Since my last video about my HKU interview experience, a lot of people have been asking me on Instagram or on YouTube about what did you write in your personal statement. So I decided to make a separate video, which is this video about uh, my personal statement specifically. And I hope this video can help anyone out there. Yeah, so let's get started. For me specifically, I applied to HKU, which is Hong Kong University, and CU HKU, which is Chinese University of Hong Kong. And I would expect in other universities in Hong Kong, the personal statements requirement would be uh, fairly similar. So this video would apply to almost writing personal statements or applying to all the universities in Hong Kong. So before we digging in into like the tips and tricks and how to write them and things like that and what to write about, uh, let's look at the requirements first. And for this one, I only looked at HKU and CUHK because those two are the universities that I applied to. For HKU, it says a personal statement of no more than a thousand words detailing your interest in applying to the university, the program, etc. And so for CUHK, they said one personal statement with no more than two A4 pages telling us why you chose the program in your application. So as you can see for these two, they both mentioned detailing your motivation and why you chose that specific program. What's hard about writing personal statements for Hong Kong universities is that there is no prompt available. So they don't give you a question that you have to answer and they don't give you a specific prompt. They just tell you a requirement, like one sentence requirement, and then you have to write quite a lot with a thousand words essay or like two A4 pages, that's around the same. So there's no actual like actual requirement on what you can write and what you cannot write. So it entirely depends on you. And I feel like that's the difficulty that a lot of people face because when they see this, they have no idea what they can write and what they should write. But I think the good thing is that it allows a thousand words or two A4 pages, which is quite a lot of words because like if you compare it to UK universities like through UCAS that's only 4,000 characters and that's only like 500 words which is very very little I think it's less than that so a thousand words or two A4 pages is actually quite a lot of word count and you can add on a lot of like details and it will really like support your application I still find myself running out of and having to like trim things down but that's just me because I write very wordy sentences and things like that and for HKU specifically, on top of the written personal statement, they also allow you to submit a video personal statement. And in the application portal, they specifically say that this is optional. For me, I actually didn't submit a video personal statement because I applied sometime in November and that was like one of the most difficult like and busy times of like my IV journey. So I just chose to not submit one and it turned out fine because I still accepted offers from the programs I applied to. So I would say it's probably okay if you don't submit one, but if you really want to support your application more, then I would definitely do a video personal statement. And now that you know that there's a video personal statement and a written personal statement, you can actually start working on those during the summer because I didn't know you need to have like, especially the video personal statement until I submitted my application. Just like do it earlier so that you won't be in a time crunch. So with that said, I think there are generally two approaches or two types of personal statement that you can write. And so let me like explain a bit more about that. I think the two general types or approaches are a more academic one or a more personal one. The more academic one is more like a UK, UCAS style personal statement where you focus more on the program you apply to and it's very focused on your motivation, your suitability of the program, like your passion of the program and things like that. On the other hand, a personal personal statement is more about like your own experiences and I feel like that's more of a US type of personal statement where you like talk about your childhood experiences and things like that. As we saw like the requirements for the Hong Kong um, universities like HKU and CUHK requirements, I would say that the Hong Kong universities generally uh, prefer a more academic focused personal statement in the sentence they both told you that you need to detail your interest and explain why you chose that specific major the academic oriented personal statement is the approach i took and i was accepted into all the programs i applied to so i would say that it works pretty well 
I also have friends who took like the more personal approach where like they talk about their childhood and things like that and I don't know specifically on the outcome of the application but I wouldn't say it's like wrong to write about like you know your own experiences so maybe like talk to other applicants who have applied before and, and look at more examples of personal statements that are actually sent to Hong Kong universities and then you'll get a general idea on what they want and what it's something that people usually submit okay so for HKU they specifically said that you can only submit one personal statement and it will be sent to all the programs you apply to for CUHK on the other hand I submitted one separate personal statement for the sciences program and one other personal statement for a biomedical sciences program so it's slightly different but most of the time it's one personal statement submitted um, across all the different programs I applied to you may have a problem if you apply to more than one program and when I mean more than one program I mean like two very distinct programs so for example if you apply to business and then to science as well you might have a problem with that because it's very difficult to have one personal statement that fits both the business side and the science side some people can make it work if it's like a more interdisciplinary thing that you're interested in but in my opinion it's like pretty difficult to like write a personal statement that fits both if you are in this situation i would suggest focus on the first choice major because for hku for example i got the group interview and an individual interview and the individual interview came from the biomedical sciences program which was my first choice and i didn't get any interview from the sciences program so by putting a, a program as first choice they would pay more attention to you as well so it would make more sense if you focus more on your first choice program and then they can see uh, that you put them as first choice and then your personal statement shows that like you really want to join their program so it would make more sense if you do that the department they won't know what other majors they apply to but then i just think this makes writing a personal statement so much harder so it's so much easier if you just apply like two programs that are interconnected or related like you can always put down more programs but like you probably won't get an offer from them until like very 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 late like sometime in july august or something uh, because if you put them as your fifth choice like they probably won't look at you until like they've accepted all their first choice applicants so yeah this is just something to take into consideration of when you put down your program preferences and you tailor your personal statement to that specific program So moving on, um, I'll give some tips about writing personal statements. These are just some stuff that I did um, that I think helped me in the personal statement writing process. Tip number one, use a color coding method. So I learned this method when I was learning like how to write um, the UCAS personal statement and then this video made by Dr. Shane, he provided um, a PDF file on how to structure a personal statement for UCAS but I think it applies to other personal statements as well. So the way I color coded it was that I had five different points. So I have motivation, engagement, suitability, reflection, and passion. And I labeled each one with a color and with each sentence I wrote, I color coded. Is this sentence like detailing my motivation? Is this sentence like detailing my reflection? Am I reflecting in this sentence? Like, Am I talking about my passion in this sentence? And I think this really helps because when you write personal statement, it has to be condensed, it has to be very informative. So what I did was like, I color coded each sentence and if I see like for example this sentence is black I can immediately know that it is not really necessary because it doesn't add more information um, about myself it's just probably a filler sentence but sometimes you need that in transitioning like paragraphs and things like that but then I just found that really helpful in weighing what I need to include in my personal statement and what I can delete and you can also use this method to see how balanced like your personal statement is so for example if you spend a lot of time talking about your passion but then you never talked about how suitable you are in this program like maybe that's something you can consider adding you don't have to do these five points but these are the five points that i use to like structure my personal statement and the second tip is well don't be afraid to show what you know about the program and 
what I mean by that is like for example for CUHK for their biomedical sciences something special about it is that they have three major areas of focus and then like moving to third year or second year or something like you can pick and choose like which area you fo of focus you want to do or you want to focus on this is something that's special to CUHK but not to like HKU for example so if you mention that in your personal statement it will also answer the question why you chose that university that program specifically and not like this other one and so just make sure to do like do research on your program make sure to show that you are making an informed decision and not just like randomly applying to a program as a backup my third tip is to choose one or one well one or two maybe but one topic that you're very interested in within that program so to provide an example for biomedical sciences for example biomedical science is a very large area of study so there's so many smaller like focus areas like within biomedical sciences and I chose one that I'm very interested in so for me I chose neurobiology and that's what I talked about in my interview as well I think this is quite important because like you show them that there's one thing that you're very interested in and one thing that you really want to learn more about I talked about the super curricular activities that I did to learn more about that topic so for example I think I wrote about a book and I wrote about listening to a podcast and things like that like the relationship between the gut microbiota and the brain and things like that so I focus quite a lot on that in my personal statement I feel like this just gives them that idea that you have a sense of purpose of what you want to learn more about in university and some people might talk about like more topics in less depth but the approach I took was I think I talked about less topics and more depth and I just think this gives them an idea of what I want to study more in the future and what I want to learn more in the future for this it's also very important to like research into your program first so for example biomed as I said is a very large area of study and different biomed programs in different universities teach different things so for example one might teach microbiology within biomed while the other doesn't so if your personal statement starts like talking about microbiology or like some research that you saw about microbiology that you think is fascinating but the university doesn't teach it it might show that you didn't do enough research it might give them the idea that what you're interested in is not what they're teaching and then they might think that you're not a good fit for a program because you won't be interested in what they are teaching this is just something to think about because I have friends who uh, applied to UK um, she applied for biomed but then they get they rejected her because they said that her personal statement is too neurobiology focused to the point where they think that you probably want to study neurobiology more than bio so this is just something to take into consideration of and then just like don't make this mistake when you write your personal statement so the fourth tip is to communicate with your teachers and why I say that is because your application on top of like you know all your transcripts and whatever and your personal statement and things like that your teachers are allowed to submit teacher recommendations as well and so if you really want to include like more information about yourself you need to make sure that you're not talking about the same thing in like the teacher recommendation and the personal statement so just make sure you don't overlap on what you talked about because it's just a waste of words unless it's something that you think it's very very important and you think it's important for the university to see both perspectives or to reiterate that point maybe you can say oh like maybe your teacher can talk about like your performance in school in class or something you can talk about something else like if you guys both talk about the same thing I feel like it's not very effective so I know for some schools that the students are not allowed to see their teacher recommendations and that's the case for me I never saw my teacher recommendations but you're still allowed to talk to them so just like maybe tell them like oh I did this project in school I was wondering if you can like talk about it in the teacher recommendations and usually they would say yes if like they're the supervisor or things like that and then in your personal statement instead of like talk about that school project you can talk about something else that they didn't like supervise you on so yeah I hope that makes sense but I feel like it's just to make sure that your personal statement is effective and not just like a waste of words like reiterating something that other people has already said so make sure you talk to your teachers no matter what especially um, the teachers who are writing your um, teacher recommendations the fifth 
tip is that this is something I didn't do but I feel like for international students you still have to include one or two sentences about why you want to study in Hong Kong specifically. So I did do that for my scholarship application in CUHK like for a Belt and Rope scholarship but I didn't do that for applying to university but I feel like if you have word count one or two sentences is probably fine and so you just include like talk a bit about like why you want to stay in Hong Kong and this could be about like you know how it's a developing city how you like the culture and things like that it could be anything just related to your personal um, experiences it might be important because it also explains like why you chose that university as well like why Hong Kong specifically so this is something you can include but I feel like you don't must include but if I were to write my personal statement again I would probably include that in like towards the end of my personal statement so it's just like more holistic in general so the last tip is that with all the extracurriculars that you mention in your personal statement try as much as you can to tie it to your major because it's like a 1000 word or a two page personal statement i feel like it will be kind of too one-sided if you only focus on like the academic side and your interests so i feel like you will definitely include some of your extracurriculars and things like that and that's what i did but for, i made sure for all the extracurricular activities that i mentioned i tie it back to my major and like my suitability or something like that so one example would be uh, i mentioned that i played point guard in basketball. I mentioned how like basketball requires uh, like teamwork and your understanding of your supportive role and I understand how biomedical scientists have that supporting role in the multidisciplinary healthcare team. Or like for example, I did MUN and, and I was the chair of the Environment Commission. I talked about the topic that I researched in and how it's related to the program that I will study or how that program will help me like solve that global issue like in the future or things like that. Generally, like you can mention extracurriculars, but still make sure it's like relevant to your major somehow because like the most important thing is like why you chose that pro program. That's all the tips I have for writing personal statements. The personal statements that I wrote for HKU and CUHK, so three in total, are all linked in the description in a Google Drive. So like if you're interested, go check it out. Like ask me in the YouTube comments, like if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. And let me know what other videos you guys want related to, I don't know, applying to uni, about IB, and things like that. I have a lot of free time right now, so I would be very willing to make them. And I hope these videos can help you guys in your university application process. Bye! Thank you for watching!